This is Rockstar 2800 with Smut Free TV, the hottest content in these internet streets. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe. Get your mind right. You said Buck Adam? Yeah, yeah B Adam, yeah, I man. see him. Uh -huh. I see him, I just brought him up. Yeah, yeah, he know about Cud too. He got some. Uh, yes, he does. Uh, y'all can hear me? Hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening, homie? Welcome to Smart Free TV. What's, What's happening? That's Buck Adam from Pomona. Oh yeah. What's your issue with Loose Cannon? Uh, Loose Cannon is cool. Uh, Loose Cannon is cool. Yeah, 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 Loose that nigga was there. That nigga was there too, with me. Oh, so y'all the two niggas, and you said one got a, you got away. This one. Nah, uh, it was, it was about a, it was a lot, it was a one. It, it was, was me, you, yeah, it was like six of us, huh? But I'm, I'm gonna be real, that nigga ain't no statute of limitation. That, you know, that nigga different, you feel me? So yeah. The way, the way, the way, the way he put the police on the nigga, everybody fell back. Cause it was like, it was like, yeah, you ever seen a movie where it's, Motherfucker get to work, look at this shit, and then as soon as it is good, motherfucker test, and then the police ram in. Oh. Like, like <laughs> nah, man. Nah, yeah, not no like power that. type shit. Come on. Okay, okay. Right leading up to man. this, and we ain't gonna go into detail on that. Leading up to how did y'all end up did he set up all this? Was it his nah, Okay. When Rick when Rick told you how he was living over there? He told you he was living over there. Rick brought me over there. And then I started chopping it up with the nigga. So the same nigga, Critic Kelly. Where have you? Where have you? The phone went out. Your phone went out. I think his phone might have went out. Yeah. Yeah, but the nigga, uh, the nigga, I bought Buck over there to do some music. He started chopping it up with that nigga. And then, uh, the nigga was talking about a play he had. And I was kind of skeptical still, but I was like, fuck it. If you want to fuck with it, let's go do it. So we caught the other homie and go go get the little woo wop or whatever. And then um, we go to the thing and this nigga, this nigga's on his phone. He's on a speaker phone while he acting like he's doing the play. So he act like he in there scuffling on the phone. And then he run out with a bag in his hand and jump in the car. Like, come on, let's go. I got it. <laughs> Like they try to give me. So then, uh, so then uh, the nigga, you did be. I drive on. The nigga digging the bag and pull out the money and it say the shit on it, the evidence shit or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? Hold on, what you be? What it say on it? What you be? It, it had the he federal. Said, he said it say DEA evidence on it. <laughs> what the fuck? But I'm like, this nigga's full of shit though, because if it was DNA evidence, that shit wouldn't have been in the streets. So he made that <laughs> shit. I think Hope tried to talk. Yeah, he made that shit up. Hey, Buck, what, what, what's happening? The shit, the shit say DEA evidence. Back in, Buck. I'm not even, I'm not even in that part. We can't hear you a little bit. We can hear you muffled. Hello? Yeah, we hear you. You can hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the other homie jumped out. I let him out on the side of the road. The nigga Cannon pull up to the gas station, and the gas station low key connected to a truck station, but we don't know the shit. And my people is pressing nigga with the blower and everything. The nigga go in the store. He said, I'm gonna go and get the drain, go in the store. The nigga called him, called the boys. And then the, the boys pull up right in the parking lot. They go straight to my people's car. So you know how when the, the boys pull up slow, as soon as I see them, everybody started pulling. I'm, I'm starting to pull out. They pull right up on it. They call the nigga by name. We don't know this nigga, man. We don't know this nigga from nowhere. We don't know this nigga from anywhere. We don't know nothing about that. We, we know, who the fuck is that? People are like, what the fuck going on? So, as soon as uh, my my cousin, he, like, he hopped out the car with the blower, he, he tried to get on, but they they they, they hit me. Up. And, and the cold part about it, the nigga had about 10 bands on him. They kept that. He didn't get that bad. They kept that for everything. And that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. And he don't even. He don't even want to pull up nothing, no paperwork. He don't. He really trying to stay away from the police, that nigga. Cause if the nigga had to do some gangster shit and like shot it out with a nigga or said, you know, whatever the case was, nigga did some. The nigga really put the police. The nigga stayed, talked to the police. He was nervous. The nigga didn't go nowhere. The nigga didn't run. The nigga can't stay there and talk to the police. So, you know, my, my, 
my whole thing here right now is to speak on the character uh, of what that nigga is. For him to put that on Big U, and, and you know, he's just not credible. You feel me? Like, because I know, you know, this nigga crafty, he a liar. For, so he, for him to put that type of allegation on. Yeah, you gotta break it up, B. And you know it's fucked. But I, I, we definitely hear you said for him to put that type of allegation on Big U, he a liar. That nigga you know not credible. Said? He's not credible at all. So niggas is saying, cuz, went in the fucking gas station, called the police on niggas that he just hit a thing with. Yeah, exactly. Supposedly, though, because the money would say DEA evidence, like, so, I mean, obviously he must have been working with the police the whole time, right? From what we understand. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, man, this this some this nasty work, y'all. This nasty work. That nigga's a police that nigga, man. Police, nigga, man. And then, so and then for this nigga white to uh, even act like the nigga telling the truth is is like a violation. Hey, Dane Brick, man, you say that nigga pops is a, is a snitch too. Uh, uh yeah, he said uh, his pops. They cleared it up and said he wasn't. Oh, okay. Nigga Spider Low had, had talked to him and shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, my bad. bad. So, my yeah, phone bad. fucked up, my but. Phone fucked up, but. There you go. Yeah, I don't know about all the nigga pops or none of that, or I'm not, you know, here. I used to be signed to Big U. I'm not here to defend or whatever going on. I just, I'm here to speak on that nigga character. Like, niggas didn't even want to get no proper, like, get back type shit because the way he put the police on the nigga. And whenever a nigga put a police on you and, and the police come and you stay there and talk to him. And, when you, and he didn't when give you, a fuck about his kids, niggas know where his kids you, and his baby mama had none of that. But not only that, when you dealing with that type of that type of work and that type of issue, you like you don't even want to deal with it. But for him to stay there and really chop it up with him and and say, boy, and, and really and do that, like he really put he made sure niggas was off of that. Because if he had like I said, if he had to do some gangster shit and got on and shot it out with us or said nigga it is what it is, nigga pull up on me like nigga nigga really put the police on the nigga so nigga that was different i never experienced no shit like this in my life and that's all i'm here to speak on nothing else no more no less that's it so so is a nigga locked up from that my cousin did my cousin did two years off of that shit off the blower luckily he didn't get caught up with the wooty wife so that's why he don't even want to really he only really want to get involved no more because it was so much police he like he like bro i don't even want to he low-key happy he just got away with it you know <laughs> he like nigga, i don't even want to you know because that was a whole play that was put together, and you know he, he luckily he got away with just the just the gun case, but he lost ten bands at the same time because he had ten bands just just pocket change, and they kept that for evidence and then give it back to him. And because of his priors, they like all right, nigga here, boy, they they threw him two years because they couldn't really pin too much on him, except for the nigga Tremaine Williams called in and said this nigga got a gun, he's trying to rob me some weird shit. Yeah. And so is that in the paperwork? Man, he got it. I'm trying to get him to send it, but he like. And so is that in the paperwork? Man, he got it. I'm trying to get him to send it, but he like he don't want nothing to do with this nigga, bro. Like <laughs> nothing because he already skated with not getting cut. You already you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he, 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 he already skated. Cool. And ain't no he, he like yeah. yeah, he's he like he already skated, but, but Big U, <laughs> but Gigi already told Big U the whole story. So when I heard Brick Baby telling the story. Phone went out, man. Phone went out, beat, but oh god, man. Hey man, y'all live right now, Spud Free TV. We got crazy Rick in the building. We got Buck Adams in the building, you understand me? We get to the business right now, you understand yeah. me? Exposing loose coochie. You know what I'm saying? Nigga named Loose Coochie out here running his lips. And they, 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 they trying to get a nigga they scared of out yeah. the way, that's all. So what did you think about the whole interview? I'm like, you watching it, you laughing, you can't believe this shit. You like, what I want, the I, fuck? I, I, want, I, wanted to, I wish they had, I wish they had fucking live uh, callers. I was for the call in. <laughs> <laughs>